In this video, I'll give a quick review of the Lantern Moon Ebony Interchangeable Needles. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. So recently I purchased a few needles that are new to me to give a try, and you can watch that unboxing video up here. Um, but I did give the Lantern Moon Ebony Interchangeable Needles a, a go, and um, I'd like to share my thoughts on those with you here. So these are the needle tips that came in this box, and the cords then come in sets of two um, if you're purchasing things individually. And the cords also come with a tightening tool and end, cap, end caps, which is a nice touch to come with the cords. So here are what the cords look like. The um, screw end is on the cords and not on the needle tips. So, and there is a gold toned join to the cable. The cable is a corded um, stainless steel, I think, um, cord coated in. Um, plastic. So it is flexible but a little stiff since it is a metal cord that is quite flexible. The nice thing is the ends spin. So that is, I really like that. And then they attach to the needle tips by screwing on. The needle tips have the threading on the inside. The tips are wood, are this ebony wood, and they are printed with the size on both needle tips. These are the fours, and they just screw on to the cords. And there is a tightening hole there on the cable portion to use a tightening screw to tighten. But I found that hand tightening these nice and snug was, was good enough. And then the fact that the attachment spins helped prevent this join from coming undone. So I really did like the fact that these spin. The tips are a smooth, are wood, but they are nice and smooth. They have a really nice feel in the hand. Um, because they're wood, there's some uh, grip. It's not slippery like a metal needle would be. The tips are pointy for wooden um, needles, but they're, you know, they're not as pointy as metal. Here's a Chowgu tip in comparison. So the Chowgu, these are the red lace Chowgu tips. They, and this is a size seven needle instead of a four, two, but um, the length here is much shorter before it gets to the full diameter. Whereas on the red lace Chowgu's, the that length is much longer and the tip itself is pointier but that's to be expected with a wooden needle it's much it's very difficult to get a very pointy wooden needle tip so i don't fault these needles for not being that pointy they are very nice i i enjoyed working with them so i i am I am tempted to buy a bit more of a set in these because they're, I found them very nice. So the, the fact that they spin and the smoothness of the, of the wood, of the ebony wood, and they're very attractive looking needles. So I would recommend these if you are looking for a set of wooden 
interchangeable needles. I might buy a few more tips and a few more cords. I might not buy a whole set. I don't work with wood needles very often, but uh, they're, they're very nice. The needle tips, you may not be able to see this. You might not be able to see this, but the needle tips also have the size um, etched into the metal on the this metal joinery piece as well. So if it wears out on the wood, which is a distinct possibility since these are wooden needles, um, then it's also etched in the metal on here on the metal. It's difficult to read. It's very small, um, but it is there. I paid $16 US dollars for the needle tips, each pair of needle tips, and I paid nine US dollars for the swivel, the set of two swivel cords. So about $4.50 per cord then, and then the $16 for the tips. So those are my thoughts on the Lantern Moon Ebony interchangeable needles. Let me know what you think about these needles in the comments below. I hope this video was informative and until next time, happy knitting!